at the Tiger Belly show, there were like two girls and one of them was like, hey, can I get a photo? And I was like, sure. And then her friend took the photo and then she was like, do you want the photo? And the friend was like, eh. Oh, uh, George and okay. His, George and his stories, huh? <laughs> He wanted to add in. Let, let's just let's just analyze what he just said here. You know, what pissed <laughs> off. You know, what pissed off George the most about that. Luna, I, that that pissed me off. Yeah, go ahead. That pissed me off. Yeah, it right? did. I know it did. It's like you know we're holding court, telling uh -huh. stories, right? Uh -huh. And you know the whole time he was thinking, I think I got a story. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I right. just wanted okay, some, uh, exactly. an excuse wait, 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 to get this camera me. on so that I get a little more uh, screen time, a little more famous. With Andres not here, I think I have a chance to shine. And so by the way, that, that irked him so much. After the Tiger Belly show, Fancy walked outside. Oh there, is a, there was a cheering of, Fancy, Fancy, Fancy. Fancy, 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 Fancy. Dude, it was huge. It's, it must be easier to cheer than Pink Dick. Like it's it's just, but it's much at, easier nobody cheer. Che nobody cheered for George. George literally came out. No one said anything. Fancy, fancy. They do lost you know why, their George? Mind. You do bullshit like this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. You, this is what he does. What's so gross? We're at the Ace Theater. Audience, you know the doors open at, right uh, seven, right? Yeah. And so you know the the lobby's flooded with Tiger Belly fans or whatever, merch line, whatever, right? This fuckface goes out there. And just kind of walks around. Oh, you he sick wants to see, fuck. And he's gross. like, oh, no, I just wanted to see what the merch was. What the nah, merch was saying. I just wanted no, to see what the merch was, you know? I was For fucking compliments. <laughs> yeah, you're fishing You little hard. bitch, dude. You're fishing. And it took a long time to get them, you know? I was walking. I was like, they wouldn't even <laughs> let me to the front of the merch line. They were like, no, 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 not you. Get to the back. Get That's to right. the back. What, did, what compliments did you get? Um... Hey, great job being in the background. They, uh, That's they, nice. That was a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's his nice. Way to not talk most now. of the time. He, what he gets the thrill because well, when they look at him, it registers. Yeah, that oh, that's the, that's the guy. That's the guy, right? The and show. that's what he gets off on. Right, right. You're Finally, you have respect. Sick, twisted fuck. Fucking dude. twisted fucking fuck. Twisted dude. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Gross. Rudy, I hope you get recognized more and more. And by the way, to the fans out there, good story though, George. When you see Rudy. <laughs> When you see Rudy in the major metropolitan area of Los Angeles, please go up to her. Please take a photo. She loves hugs. She loves that stuff. You love, and she wants to engage. She doesn't want to just say hi. She wants to talk to you. She no. wants to know what's going no. on. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah, you just, do. Just wave, then no. go away. No, 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 no. Too informal. You you want something more proper. You want. I, I think you should really let people open up to you. If you're going through a divorce or or if your kid <laughs> just went off to college, why don't you fuck, fucking tell her about it? Right. I think you should open up. Let people open up to you, Rudy. Okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Well, when you back, went back to the Philippines, mm. did you hang out with your old friends? Yeah, and I did. Did, they... did anybody in the Philippines know about the show? Yeah, some some of them are like really like fans of the podcast, wow. and they like listen. In the Philippines, wait, your friends do? Yeah, and, and they listen. Yeah, and yeah. they keep asking like, "When's the next podcast? I want to listen. I'm excited." And do you feel good? Be yeah. honest, a little bit. Yeah, especially yeah. like when the 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 other girl. So there's this other girl. Can I explain? All right, there's another girl. So she lives from the Philippines, right? There's a girl that wants to be a social influencer or... or <laughs> What's that influ called? Influencer, Influencer, yeah. right? And she's trying to get, you know what I mean? She wants to be famous. Famous and this. But it's I love it when somebody doesn't want to. <laughs> Rudy. R Rudy, right? And she just falls into it mm -hmm. and wins the lottery, Yeah. right? And she and, and if we, even if we call, told her, you're no longer on the podcast, she wouldn't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter to her. She would move on with her life. Yeah, doesn't right? want to be here now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true doesn't want to she be doesn't want you want to be here no. now yeah no. yeah but my point is is that so that must feel good a little bit yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. the other girl though is she your competition like do you guys have beef no we're friends did it's, you hang out with her yeah uh, one time cause she has to do like other influencer stuff well, what are the influencer stuff you do? <laughs> what does that even <laughs> yeah, mean yeah. like they have a meeting and then they like like promote stuff and then like they go and like take photo shoots and did they invite you to any of it no but you're more what you're, you're, you're bigger than who has are. who has more followers on instagram me oh wow. and they didn't collaborate with you at all no no they had this opportunity they don't know me how many followers does she have you were hanging out with them you were at the meeting right how many followers does she have i think she has like 20. yeah you have over a hundred thousand followers <laughs> yeah that's gotta feel good. Yeah. 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 How many followers do you have on Instagram? Eighteen now. Eighteen thousand. When before the podcast, I bet there's more now. We're getting that. It's we're crazy. getting that. We're gonna get. Go. We're yeah. like we gotta get you to fifty, man. Wow. At least, yeah, right? Yeah. Rudy, I kind of want to look up the other girl, even though. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> just because I want to see how many she had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got recognized at the store last night during work from Bad Friends. Really? From really? Monday's episode. Fuck what, yeah. what did they say? I, I was doing the whole like two drink. There's a two drink minimum. I'm showing them to their seats and they go, wait, excuse me. We, you just on Bad Friends? And I go, yeah. And they were like, you were awesome. We loved you Aww. on there. And it was really flattering and nice. And then I had to go, oh, thank you. Anyway, there's no cell phone use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Photos or videos. That phase on Love Story made me cry. I saw you get emotional. Yeah, I got over emotional there. during Yeah, that. I shut it down. Because I've, I, cause he's from San Diego. And I've known him for a very, very long time. And I just know his heart. He gave you $150? He's yeah. A great, he's a, a fucking, good dude. That's a big fat We should tip. have yeah. him on this. Love to have him on. We should have Faze on Love on Bad Friends. Love to have him yeah. on. Yeah, he's the best. That's man, a, that that was really a very emotional. sweet story. Yeah. He's the man. I, yeah, I was really embarrassed. It's embarrassing. You should, and you yeah. shouldn't be, by the way. But I know, but I learned, you know, you learn so much at the store. Like, it's a school, and I felt like I should have just kept things lighthearted. But yeah. so many people park in that lot. It gets you on edge. Cause you Wait, know, so has yeah. everybody parked in a lot where they are paid regular, but no, like they don't get spots, and they act, they give you attitude? No, not really attitude. Most people who are parking there, like if like if uh, someone comes for fallouts, uh, they'll be like, "Hey, is it okay if I left?" Like they make real uh, good sure that they're okay. Also, she's not gonna tell you. I know we're. <laughs> I'm not trying we to, keep I, fishing. But I know. people oh, come in that uh, are customers, or they're like on a development show. One guy, I'll tell you a story. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yes. this is what we want. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So there was a show and in the belly room, and it was an um, independent show, so it's not paid regulars. Yeah. And they're allowed one car per show. Well, someone rolled in on a motorcycle, and they had the one car. And so at first I told him, you can't park here. But since it was the bike and he was saying, you know, it's small. I can't. I just put it up here. I said, OK, yeah, you can. Put that it. seems reasonable. Yeah. Just a motorcycle. Yeah. 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 And he was, you know, at first he was kind of upset. He was like, you know, I've parked here before, blah, blah, blah. Oh, don't give attitude. Buddy. Yeah, he got a lot of attitude. And yeah. he ended up saying, yeah, it's fine. Just park up there. Yeah. So he parked the bike and then came up and then went to his friend. And, you know, if you guys, he's talking to his friend where you guys are. And I'm sitting, I'm standing right here in the lot. Yeah. And he starts speaking in Spanish. And he then points to me and says, puta. <laughs> and it was like. I don't speak Spanish, but I know what that means. We know, means. bitch. <laughs> yeah, pal. I need to know <laughs> who the fuck who is this. The fuck, fuck is this guy motherfucker? Is. But dude. then I what? Did, <laughs> so <laughs> like, hey, 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 hey. who the fuck? Who the fuck? We'll make a deal. All right. Maybe he did We will bleep the name out. We will bleep. I don't even know his name. Yes, you do. I don't know the guy. Juicy, juicy. I could find out. Yeah. But I was like, why was this a guy I want to even know? You know. So that's a great mindset. Why the fuck she's is lying? It? Because she's playing political fucking. No, she's not. No, I really Shelton. don't. No, no, she doesn't know who he is. He's probably. You not don't a, know his name. I really don't know his name. But I told. He was on a book show that she has no. She so has let's yeah. investigate. It. He has a bike. I'm gonna figure it out. Off the air, we're gonna figure it yeah. out. Yeah, I'm gonna figure it out now. No. So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> he is on a fucking bike. It didn't tip me either. Right, he didn't tip. Right, yeah. he was on. It'd be a hilarious. Friends and family <laughs> or some sort of night show. Belly room. A belly room. Yeah. What show was it? It was, uh, well, see, that's why, because it was like, <laughs> what show it, was, was it? it was the Spanish show, which was cool, so I don't want to dog on the show. Yeah, so, so wait, when, what night so is that? You call, it was you, a one-off. This is what you do, oh. you call yeah. Francisco Ramos. Yeah, and that was, <laughs> I'm being real. yeah, I love Francisco, so I'm, I don't want to And find who talk. rides a motorcycle. I don't, listen, listen, I don't know who rides a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Santino. Okay. Okay. All right. But everybody said that guy's cool, he shouldn't have talked to you like that. That's right. So maybe he was just having a bad day, but, and there was a small chance he wasn't calling that to me, but the timing of it was like he most seems, seems definitely a little. Uh, I just want to have a message. I want to have a message right now. And I, I, this person's watching right now, right? I'm telling you right now, they're not. They're not. I don't want to make enemies with this guy on the motorcycle. Yeah, you never know what he could do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're not gonna say his name ever, right? I'm not even gonna push it. I won't know his name. But listen care. here, Chunchito. But listen here, Chichicho. Okay. <laughs> if you ever do that again, we have a very big problem. Very big problem. And if you have a war with her, you have a war with us. You got a war with us? Right. And you may think, who gives a fuck, this and that? You know, it's funny. <laughs> Can I say something? I'll tell you what's funny. Yeah, Can I tell what, you what's funny? What's funny? What's funny is when we did the live here, right? Yeah. Our buddy Bart's doing it, right? Love him. Bart, Bart and it, I talked to Bart, and I, I was like, when did we meet? We met in 1998. He said 23 years ago. Yeah, yeah, whatever, right? And I, and I, the, a lot of my relationships, right? go way back deep. they're deep deep historical 
relationships and I've done a lot of favors and I have a lot of really positive relationships with people and it's just a phone call motorcycle man <laughs> <laughs> motorcycle man it literally is just a phone call you know I wasn't and I did, no, just, I'm not done um, I can <laughs> see say, this is why I don't tell uh, you things yeah, yeah, I can, no, no, I'm just saying you know I can go hey Dave Becky or whatever you know I'm not throwing names out there but no, you did, anybody yeah. I just did yeah. you, know, you know what I mean but anybody one of the biggest managers in the world you can hey, call buddy, anybody yeah, motorcycle man is a piece of shit Any, anybody's picking up your right, phone right right yeah. hey you know any comedy club and let's do hey it. Stroop from uh, <laughs> Columbus. Yep. I, I could go to specific markets. Oh. Right? We could hurt you regionally. In, regionally. <laughs> you want you want me to go regional? <laughs> I can go Ohio, right? Ohio alone. Yo, Stroop. This guy, piece of shit. Nope. Over. Over. Hey, um, um Go ahead. B- Batchkoff. Batchkoff. You know Batchkoff, right? <laughs> he owns all of the improvs in Florida. This guy? Yeah. What if, what, what if you found out he was like a, one of these really good friends you've known for like 25 years it could be yeah. it can't be no there's <laughs> no <laughs> chance because any of my a true friend would not call anyone a puta yeah right just for motiv- but how funny would it also be because i thought about this too if he was like he had a really bad day and he was talking about someone at the grocery store and, and i would just stand here right there <laughs> yeah that could be that could let's be let's put an asterisk at the bottom of yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just, that's why we're not saying his name and that's why i'm just saying <laughs> if right. you did say it about her yeah yeah that there are yeah. relationships that, you know what i mean that right. you're going to you if know? you were saying it about someone at the grocery store carry on <laughs> carry on that's carry fine on. yeah you're allowed so to get we're mad giving at someone you a pass on this you're getting a pass you know people People right too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, you know some people, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got. Some. I know who you know. And we that was the same night Faison came in, and there were like other customers trying to park on the ramp. So that whole night was just like it was a night. Nobody's fucking with me tonight. And then Faison came in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see what you tr- started, motorcycle man. Oh God, you're, you're gonna get me fucking riled up here, baby. Motorcycle man is just motorcycle found himself say found himself in a bad place. Right yeah, now. and you know what? For the future. Uh, if anybody does go into the comedy store a lot and you decide that you're going to be a meanie weenie and you enter the fucking gates of hell with Juicy, yeah. you got to answer to the Bad Friends fan. I'm call Rudy. She's going to slash their tires. Yeah, she will. <laughs> this crazy bitch, yeah. we should put her in the parking lot with a knife and just stab people's tires. <laughs> yeah. yeah, She'll do it. You will, won't you? I'll do it. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs>